we want to solve the given rational equation. The first step is to identify the values of the variable, or in this case x, that make the denominators zero. These x values cannot be used as solutions to the equation since division by zero is undefined. So looking at the equation, notice how we have an x in the denominator here and here, and x cannot equal zero because if it did, we would have division by zero. So let's make a note here that x can't equal zero. So if we happen to solve the equation and get a solution of zero, we would exclude that value. The next step is to identify the least common denominator because we will multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator to clear the fractions from the equation. Looking at the denominators, notice how the least common denominator is going to be 5x. So because the LCD is 5x, the next step is to multiply both sides of the equation or each fraction in the equation by 5x. So multiplying both sides by 5x will give us 5x times the quantity x minus one divided by x minus 5x times three-fifths equals, on the right side, 5x times two over x. And because the products involve fractions, we can write 5x as a fraction with a denominator of one. And now before multiplying, we will simplify out any common factors between the numerators and denominators. So looking at this first product, x divided by x simplifies to one here, leaving us with just five times the quantity x minus one. And then we have minus, notice here we have a common factor of five between the numerator and denominator. Five divided by five simplifies to one, leaving us with x times three, or three x, so we have minus three x equals on the right side, x divided by x simplifies to one here, leaving us with five times two, which is 10. And now we solve the resulting equation, which means the next step is to clear the parentheses here by distributing five, which gives us five x minus five minus three x equals 10. Still simplifying the left side, we combine like terms, 5x minus 3x is 2x, giving us 2x minus five equals 10. The next step is to isolate 2x by undoing the subtraction, which means we add five to both sides. Simplifying, we have 2x equals 15. The last step is to solve for x by dividing both sides by two. Simplifying, we have x equals 15 halves. X equals 15 halves is the solution to the given rational equation. Now to check this, we can sub this value back into the original equation, but I'll leave that check for you. I hope you found this helpful.